All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. Well, I've been playing this game a lot on the sly. You kind of have to. There's no way that I could actually like make super long videos of part of the process because the process takes a long time. So we went to iron and, and you'll notice that there's been a lot of changes to the main base. I have moved a lot of stuff around. You'll notice that I have a new sheep pen area over here, a new cow pen area, a new chicken pen area. The main reason for all of these guys is because I wanted to get the achievements in the farming stuff or the um, livestock stuff. So I needed to get 10 of a, a couple types and, and all of that. So I did the all of the livestock that I could possibly do at this moment in time. I don't think there's really any more, to be honest with you. Fishing I have to do, but that's not livestock. You'll also notice that I'm not producing any wove. Any research bites? These guys are super hungry. Feed me, crab on, feed me now. And the reason for that is because, look, I've unlocked so many techs that it's, it's kind of, I'm playing catch up right now. So I went through tier four tech. And there's no way that I have set up everything in tier four. I have not done basic medicine. I haven't done the textiles and clothing. I've done a little bit of the better livestock stuff. I definitely did put down the bench saw, but there's a lot of things that I am not building right now. So I, in tier five, I worked on getting the robotics technology. And of course I, I went and clicked this robotics technology thinking, hey, that's all I really needed. No, <laughs> you need to get the metal technology before you get the robotics technology and go figure, you know, because uh, it, it kind of goes in order, right? From low amount of points to higher amount of points. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I didn't follow that. Also, power has been a big issue. So I unlock the power technology, which I haven't gotten into yet, which gives you the stationary steam engine and then unlocks some other additional parts to be able to build that. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at today. I uh, look. Here's my current iron facility. And because I had unlocked the other part of the smelting stuff, uh, I wound up getting an additional 10 different uh, things that I can make. And so I had to set that up. So initially it was from this pole all the way down to the knife. And then I got these additional 10 pieces. And of course, to make anything in here, you're gonna need rivets It's a core component and uh you, you need poles and plates very similar to the configuration down here where you've got gears and you've got the panels that, that are very important i have almost completely moved away from wood related stuff and now am all doing almost all iron you'll see a lot of my tools that used to be here in the middle are gone that's because I've converted all over to metal tools. I think I have all of my bots converted over. There's probably some that are still not converted over yet, but there's some some other additional items that still continue to be used. And, and there's things that I need to make for those. Like, so I will continue to have to make panels and square frames, fixing pegs and so on and so forth. But I think the gears are gonna be less important and the crude axles are gonna be less important because in that I have also then like I said, unlock the bot three. And here's the bot three. And the bot three comes in two different flavors. It comes in this little yellow monkey looking flavor. And then it also comes in this coconut head monkey looking guy flavor. <laughs> I guess I guess that's supposed to be a duck. I, I don't know if that's a duck or a monkey, uh, but you have a monkey and a duck guy. Let's just call it a duck because he's yellow. And so I have two different types. I've decided that all of my workers, all the people that are doing labor related things, like moving items back and forth or my builders. I even have a laborers group that just goes around and like they dig, uh, what do they do? Yeah, they, they, they plant grass and they dig holes and they, they do, they dispose stuff, all of that stuff. Those guys are gonna be my yellow guys and probably the first ones that I'm gonna replace because the yellow guys, the new bot three with some of the upgrades like the new super super bot speed or the super memory uh, are really, really good. So to, to give you a base understanding here, 
here is your standard bot level three 32 kilobyte of memory which is great i mean that's a really good chunk of change but when you put a memory unit in there let's just give this guy a little bit of a memory unit here oops then this bot has 64. So we double down on that bot, which is, I mean, the, the number of commands that you can get, 64 lines of code that you can write for that bot. That's a lot. That is a lot of code for a bot. And it probably will be very, very useful for when you're trying to automate things like mortar. Mortar is kind of difficult because it's store this item, this bucket, uh, open up, uh, get this other bucket. You've got to get clay. You've got to get sand water to make mortar. So it's you're juggling various things, which I never had enough code to be able to do that. Milk, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with milk yet. Eggs, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with eggs. As you can see, I've got a couple farms ready. That's because I want to do carrots. I want to do pumpkins. I have the coconuts done. I want to do apples. Uh, probably going to do mushrooms in another one of these. And I don't know if I needed this, but I just wound up copying and replicating it. Fuel has been a challenge. I've been running solely off of charcoal, which is uh, cooking up logs. And that is running my little uh, furnace over here to create crude metal. There's an upgrade for this furnace, but it takes coal. And so I'm going to have to set up a coal production plant over here somewhere in order to gather coal and store coal and move coal to the appropriate areas. And speaking of coal and power, the next level of power is going to be this stationary steam engine. And the stationary steam engine, I'm going to put it down here so that it doesn't get activated and start building right away. But the stationary steam engine takes a flywheel, takes a connecting rod, takes a piston, a firebox, and a broiler. All things that I'm not making right now. So as you continue to get higher up in tech, man, you really start need to start reworking the size of your specific factories. Like this is my cotton factory. It's running. It's running on a lower amount of cotton because I am now fertilizing, tilling, and watering this area. So I'm getting a five yield from it which is producing a ton. This little area is producing a ton of cotton. But I still haven't gotten into any of the other additional clothing production lines that I can do, like hat making or the sewing station or the new crude loom. I, I'm not doing any of that stuff and need to be doing that. Well, I think I have a loom in here somewhere. Do I have a loom in here somewhere? No, I don't have a loom in here anywhere. So I need to be doing that stuff somewhere. Also, I noticed that to, in order to get the carrot seeds, I am going to have to start doing, uh, what was it? Pumpkin seeds. I'm going to have to get pumpkin seeds. So probably pumpkins first in order to produce carrot seeds. I had to do a little bit of bull rush related items to get the coconuts going. And then speaking of bull rush, I need to set up a whole bull rush production line because uh this particular bull rush cloth is used uh or is going to be used or needed in other items the last thing that i want to talk about is maximum factory size or maximum size of any kind of uh room so the maximum size is this you can see that i have this wall here that's separating from this other wall and I, the reason for that wall is because I was trying to push and see, test how far I can go. But if I get rid of this wall piece, you can see that all of my machines break because it's saying it's not enclosed. So this is the actual maximum that you can have for a building. It can't be any bigger than this. This is the maximum for this as well. I, I think those are the same size. They look like they're the same size. Maybe um, this one's a little bit taller than it is wider but i tried to put on this additional room over here and uh, it wouldn't let me do it as soon as i break this wall it tells me all these machines need walls so there's still a lot of stuff left to be done before i can start moving on to do other research there's a lot more research to be done 
I believe that I did upgrade this research station. Maybe I haven't upgraded the research station, but I think I can do, yeah, I can only do tier five. I haven't upgraded it yet. So there's a lot of research still remaining to do. And then when we get into the tier six, there's a lot of tier six. Now, of course, we've got to get, if we're going to go with tier five housing and toys and all of that, I'll have to redo these production lines for the uh, clothing factory and also for the, the toys to be able to get them up to the next tier to get to the next level guy. I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I, I probably will because the research to get from tier five to tier six, I mean, the top is five million, but then when you get into tier six, it's all 10 million. And in order to put people in castles, I'm going to need tier six food. I'm going to need tier six clothing, tier six toys. So there's a lot of things. I'm probably going to need art. They're probably going to want art. They're probably going to want education. They're probably going to want medicine. You know, so all of these things are probably going to be necessary to get into tier six, to get these guys into tier six. We haven't even touched like doing the space jobs yet. We haven't even touched doing, I don't even know what this catapult does, but I got this catapult. I'm assuming it throws goods from one place to another. No idea. So some really cool things have been happening with my auto not save. I like I said I I play this on the side because things just take a long time to do in auto knots. It, even laying down this floor with uh the tier 2 bots or the mark 2 bots uh, took a significant amount of time with the mark 3 bots and I just got into the mark 3 bots. I think it's going to take a lot less time. I'm just going to have to start building and talking of bots. I've got 254 bots. So I'm going to have to do some consolidation because these bots are significantly faster. They hold a lot more instruction. And so I won't need the number of bots that I have running. Like for example, inside of my forestry, I have 15 total bots. I've got three for log delivery and you know, three or four for digging stumps or chopping. I, I have a feeling that I can reduce those down it will by one bot, if not by two bots uh, and have that tier three bot be able to do the job because they just move so much faster. And you can tell the difference in speed as those two guys were walking next to each other. At any rate, I'll keep you guys updated, let you know how things are going on. I'll build some tutorials based on Autonauts as well. The best programming methods, kind of uh, some concepts of what to do first and and how to do it uh so stay tuned for those those are going to be out i'm probably going to wait until i get to tier six and completely finish the game before i go back and revisit that stuff because it'd be better to just be able to fully understand it myself before i try to teach anybody about it that's it for me i hope you guys liked this video if you did hit that like button if you're not a subscriber please subscribe would love to have you in the community you want to follow me on any of my social media you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell that way you know when i go live and when i post new videos i'll talk to you soon thanks a lot bye bye